Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Mega Life 21 Live, as opposed to progressive discussions. Um, but you can call this this is a segment of progressive discussions because we go over different uh, topics, uh, sometimes current uh, topics, or just everyday. Um, issues and annoyances that may be on people's minds today, modern day America. And um, this is your place to vent. All right. I'm enjoying some uh, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, left over from uh, yesterday's wine show that I was invited to by Mr. Um, Ronald uh, J. Tirio of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. This one is called uh, The Gentleman's Collection. Language, please. Yeah, right. Gentleman. I use that term loosely. That's like, that's like uh, calling a go-go bar a gentleman's club. Ha, 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 ha. Hardy, har, har, har. Look at this old geezer. And he goes on telling his whole story. And that's an old company. Goes back to 1843. It's... Uh, uh, Lindemann, Lindemann is his name, uh, Dr. Dr. Vinnie Bumbats, no, Dr. I got this old fashioned writing from the uh, 19th century, Dr. Henry John Lindemann, since 1843, 1843. This guy has been uh, making uh, fermented beverages. Gentle, the Gentleman's Collection. There you go. I want to give a shout out to um, rock and roll mus musician, singer, and DJ extraordinaire from northern New Jersey, from Bergen County, Mr. Kelly Stevens. And I would like to give a shout out to my buddy, uh, Jimmy Liguori. And... Um, Brian Slate, together collectively, they are known as Vodka Incorporated because they are vodka enthusiasts, to say the least. Anyway, seven lucky bells for the live show. 
that we're doing right now. Of course, because it's live. This is a good quality hotel bell. The, the other one I had that was given to me from a dollar store, I slapped the shit out of it and the thing fell apart. Okay, and now I have the uh, Honeymooners Thelma bell. Remember when Ed Norton went, Oh, Thelma, could you please step into the dining area? With my coffee, I would like two lumps. And Thelma says, if you keep ringing that bell, you'll get two lumps. Okay, now, I have a special um, celebrity guest from the past. Um, and I will introduce the celebrity guest a little bit later. First, what I want to do is go over some topics um, as to why. Well, first, I'll talk about the rich, rude, asshole mentality of people with big bucks. Yeah, the, the rude, asshole mentality of rich people. I'll just give you one example that makes no sense at all to me. I mean, it's, it's illogical. I'm, I'm on... River Road in Edgewater, headed for Edgewater Commons. I had to go to Target. And I see the light turn red from a distance. So naturally, I do what my grandfather taught me. I slow down, let the car quickly roll, not a slow roll, quickly roll. And what happens is by the time you get to the red light, it, it might turn green. And then you never have to wear out your brake pads. Because these people that constantly jam their brakes, they wear out their brake pads, and brake jobs are very expensive, okay? So, I proceed to roll quickly. So this Audi, brand new Audi SUV behind me, well, the person doesn't like the idea that I'm slowing down for a red light. That's what you're supposed to do, because you're supposed to stop person swerves uh, around me, gets in front of me, only to jam on their brakes to stop at the very same red light that I had to stop at, that I saw at a distance. Now, how fucking stupid is that? The person is jamming their brakes on and, and obsessed with driving fast, only to stop at a red light that I'm stopping at. I get people tailgating, tailgating me, doing all sorts of things like that, driving BMWs, Mercedes in this area, coming from Fort Lee, whatever. People with money, not only do they expect to be waited on uh, in retail by, you know, customer service, uh, they expect people to drop their, the customers they're dealing with and run over to them. Sometimes the rich Ladies, they tap the counter with their fingers, thinking that that, that is going to magically make everyone uh, rudely push their customers aside just to run to them. Okay. i seen it done at uh, the fine jewelry department in Lord & Taylor up uh, in Paramus near, I guess it's Oradell Avenue. I, one, of, one of my exes was the manager of the fine jewelry department, and this rich old lady was tapping her fingers. Like, excuse me, does anyone work here? Is there anyone else that works here? Yes, there are people that work here, but they're busy helping other customers. You are not special. You are not better than anyone else. Okay. Okay, now. I will, th this is the mentality of uh, the wealthy. You know, they are natural born assholes, pricks, and scumbags. They just have, to, that, that's the truth. We tell the truth here. We don't pull no punches here at uh, Meg Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. Now, um, next topic. Um, Technology is killing our communication skills as a society simply because 
not just because that everyone and not just millennials even like middle-aged women and middle-aged you know, people they're walking around hypnotized by their smartphones they're not aware of their environment they don't look to the right to the left up and down the only time the reason why they're looking straight ahead is because they got their smartphone in front of their face texting or whatever they're doing now this happens all the time you go you walk into a doctor's office if all the millennials especially the young ladies sit down right away they whip their smartphone out probably because they don't want any anybody to hit on them or they really do not want to communicate with people they don't really want to talk to anybody because they're in their own little clique uh, Americans tend to form cliques just like they did when I was in grammar school high school college they form tight cliques they only associate with their kind of people and their friends because they're too cowardly to make new friends and talk to strangers or maybe joke around with someone at a cash register uh, you know show a little sense of humor show a little humanity so they even like high school kids are crossing a busy road not even looking to see if a bus or a truck is going to run them over and, and kill them they're looking straight ahead with the with the smartphone right in front of their face and um, then also at the gymnasium my buddy Jimmy Liguori goes to the gym called Blink I know it's a stupid name but the price is good the membership is reasonable he goes to Blink he goes he works out and there's a young man you know we're not picking on just the women there's a young man multiply that several times over that is supposed to be working out he has his weights, dumbbells from the dumbbell rack all over the floor where someone can trip and injure themselves. Listening to music and texting with the smartphone and just having, just monopolizing all the equipment. Not, not, not just the, the dumbbells that are on the floor, but monopolizing the machine or the bench that somebody else who is dedicated to training would like to use and Jimmy's telling me the guy's preoccupied with the smartphone and he's asking how much longer are you going to be do you need those dumbbells on the floor do you need the bench because I sure do and the person the the young punk proceeds to ignore him until my friend Jimmy gets pissed off then he's got to say something and then they're like shocked that you're reprimanding them you know so it's like no no devotion, no dedication, no ability to focus at all, nothing. And um, uh, this is due to high technology. Now, whether or not people will suddenly grow weary of doing that and start learning how to communicate with others the old-fashioned way, who knows? Uh, only time will tell it could get worse you know and another thing is people have become very lazy on social media to actually reply to another human being the old-fashioned way by typing typing words forming sentences forming paragraphs what they do is they'll send you a cute animation or an icon